Hello, I am Pete, hovering nonchalantly in the air as I so often do. Welcome back to Cat Quest. We're here at Westport because I happen to know that there is a level 60 quest sitting waiting for us on this board. It's been there for a while. I am also noticing a few other uh, quest marks have appeared. Uh, I can't I can't make a cursor appear, but just to the southeast of where that big white arrow is flashing. It looks like there's a side quest that's appeared on a board at a settlement there, the, the yellow question mark. Uh, and also, I noticed as I was flying over here on my way past Queen Resort, a quest has appeared there as well. So new side quests do seem to be trickling in. Either way, right now, let's get on with this one. This is the fourth day of Kitmus. Someone's trapped in the circle. Please help him. That's him over there in the corner, losing his religion. Meow, you're here to help. The circle suddenly appeared, and now he's trapped. What's he muttering? We think it's his sister's name, Lulu. She's a mage in the nearby arcane temple. That could be a lead. We'll go get her. I mean, maybe. It might just be a weird ululation with no significance whatsoever. Meow, is Lulu here? Yes, sirs, I'm Lulu. Lulu, your brother needs your help. Bobcat, meal. That town dislikes mages and he ostracized me. Why should I help him? But he could be in danger. Meow, in danger, is he? No, don't save him. Never trust family. Good tip. Imposter, why are you here? Who are you? I'll show you why you shouldn't trust family. Oh, meow, where are we? Don't worry, Lulu, just stick close to us. Oh, we can have a companion, that'd be cool. Mm, let's check that out. Okay, we have a red Santa thing and a green Santa thing. Righto. Pause, the naughty list keeps growing. They might become good claws, have hope. <laughs> The bad ones reward themselves with their own presence. We should punish them and stop Kitmus permanently. No, don't lose hope, Claws. Was that a meowmery? Looks like it, and I think there's more. Yes, just over here. Crunchy noises. What are you doing, Claws? I'm destroying all those undeserved presents. Santas don't do that, Claws. Kitmus isn't about that. Too late. Was that Santa Paws and Santa Claus? Santa Claus exists? Hmm, that imposter might be telling the truth. This is such a weird quest chain, isn't it? I'm glad I'm not the only one who thinks so. I mean, maybe I am the only one who thinks so. Paws, I saw you. You gave them all presents. They're not worthy. I'll stop you. Claws, I was hoping this wouldn't happen. No, you'd lock your own twin away? Forgive me, Claws. I'll never forgive you. No, he imprisoned his own brother. Claws. I've been gathering power all these years. Now I'm free. I'll make sure Kitmus is forever cursed. Claws, please have hope. No, this time I'm locking you away, dear brother. I feel like there might be like parallels with like the whole situation with Lulu and Bobcat. You know, brother-sister thing. Hmm. I think the whole sibling factor might be relevant. Claws. Ho, ho, ho. See? Family won't save you. But you both looked so sad. Do they? I really, I really can't detect any kind of facial expression whatsoever. Let me out. I need to go to my brother. 
You still don't see it? Looks like I'll have to force you. But what? Are you controlling me? Stop this very instant, Santa Claus. Meow, ho, 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 ho. Go destroy each other. Bad about. Okay, uh, bit of that. Oh. Okay, who am I fighting here? Oh, I dead. Wow. I think, yeah, I was maybe surprised that Lulu was against me. But anyway, okay, right, let's go back and pick up where we left off. And this time I'll be a bit cleverer with my fighting. Okay, so we're back in the fight. I had to click through a lot of dialogue to get here, which was quite tedious. Um, I've basically decided that if I die in this fight again, I'm probably not going to attempt this again, because... Mia, yeah, by Jove, that was a, a lot of clicking. Okay, so... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do some freeze and thaw. Freeze. And then melee and fire. There we go. I've got no mana at the moment. So I can't freeze. There we go. That one's dead. And then we can just fire that. Yeah, a little bit more strategy. And it wasn't too tricky. Lulu, are you me okay? Yes, I'm fine. I'm going to go see my brother. All right, we'll meet you there. Well, let's fly right on over then. Bobcat, it's me, Lulu. Lulu, Lulu, Lulu? You came for me, even though I was a furrible jerk to you. Of course, you're my brother, Bobcat. Ah, uh, family triumphs over everything, yeah? Family. Another circle's gone. I'm free! Thank the god cats. No, thank you, Lulu. And thank me for the fighting. And you too. Here, take this. Samurai helmet. Pretty good looking. Bad for magics. Pawsome, do you know of other circles? That actually felt like the last one. Then we'll head back to Queen Resort. Farewell! Queen Resort, meow okay. Quest complete. So yeah, I do want to head back to Queen Resort because I noticed another side quest appeared there. Uh, there is, as I said at the start of the episode, also that, si uh, that side quest up to the northeast, but that can wait. Yeah, let's go to Queen Resort. Uh, I, think, I think, yeah, there might now be two things at Queen Resort for us. Here it is. So, all right, so the final quest in the Kitmus, I mean, maybe it's the final, the next quest in the kit must change to level 75. That's going to wait. Everyone's invited. That's a 65. Okay, so we don't want to attempt either of those at the moment, really. Which does make me think we should head up to that new side quest up to the north and see what's going on there. Hopefully that is within our reach. But yeah, you don't, you don't know, do you? Here's the board. 99, the Forbidden History. Right. Okay, I'm just going to make some little notes over here on what these quests are so that I can come back to them later. Okay, so I've done a little bit of a flap around the map looking for side quests. There is nothing within our reach at the moment. The closest side quest that we're able to attempt is the level 65 at Queen Resort, but we are only level 61. So what I'm going to do instead is I am going to follow the main story and see if we can do what's on here. Let's end this. Oh, is this going to be the final story mission, maybe? Maybe. She's all yours. Mwah ha 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 ha. Now this feels like a trap, or at least a, a bait and switch of some sort. Yeah, no kidding. Hmm, where am I being led? Something's coming. Let's get a bit of distance. Triple dragons. Okay, our dragon's freezable. They are very freezable. And, you know, I can actually do a decent amount of damage against them. That took me a tiny bit of damage. I'm just going to 
hang out here while my armor regenerates. I might actually go and see if I can uh, get some little healing. Yeah, there we go. Top up our mana bar. And now we can get back in there and just spam them with magic attacks again. Oh, don't you love a bit of cheese? Unless, of course, they've totally healed up now. That'd be sad. They do seem to have totally healed up. Yes. Okay. So. I need to not take damage. There we go. Meowza, where did your sister go? Look at all that goodies. Yeah, sometimes just charging in and spamming melee and flame purr at the same time is just its an adequate strategy. Oh, hello. Looks like your sister went inside. Meow. You ready, partner? This is the point of no return. Huh, okay. Am I still going to be able to come back and do side quests after this? Well, I mean, we're here now and we know that there's no side quests within our reach at the moment, so... Into the Dragon Void we go. Where are we, Meow? It's just pure darkness. Welcome to the Zero Dimension. <laughs> Tell me, little one, would you recognize your sister no matter what? Um, Let's try the middle one. Wrong! Try again, mwahaha. <laughs> um... Is there actually a puzzle here, or is it just luck? Wrong again. Don't you recognize your dear sister? I guess it's this one, then. Dracoth. Amazing, you still don't realize it, do you? You have no sister. What? This was all an illusion. My illusion. I needed you to be stronger, so I gave you the motivation for that. Dracoth, that's enough. He gets it. Come now, Spiri. Enough with the charades. Your job is done. You're free to go. Was Spiri on Dracoth's side all along? Ooh. I'm so sorry, Portner, but Dracoth is my master. Spiri, you Judas. I was there to make sure you were always getting more powerful. I don't fully agree with what he's doing now, though. Mwahaha, look, he's speechless. I've always been speechless. And finally, the time is at hand. Aelius will soon be freed. Dracoth, please, it doesn't have to end this way. Only the blood spilled by a powerful being can open the Zero Dimension. And what is more powerful than a mighty dragon blood? Mwahaha. Oh, hello. Fighting, are we? Here, have some of that. Dracoth went down easy. Oh, of course. Mwaha, not bad. And now let us fight for real. Have some of that, have some of that. Get out, get out. Oh, ouchie. Bit of freeze and thaw. Just tonk him a little bit so I do get... Oh, I've got very little mana now. I don't have enough to ice. Okay, I've taken one out. Oh, this one looks like the toughest of the lot. And we have no mana. So, I can't ice. Oh, that worked quite nicely. There we go. Oh, there's another one. Huh, right. Well, I'm definitely going to do the thing where I wait for my armor to recharge. Because I'm going to need it going into this. Alright, let's go. We're going to... Oh, meow, how are you so powerful? Dracoth, stop it. No, Aelius made a promise to always be there for us. I intend to make him keep that promise. Yeah, I need to be another fight. Oh, you're huge. Okay, so what do I need? I need to do some... Oh. Okay, he's he's kind of chasing me across the black. I'm going to let my armor regenerate. And then I'm just going to get in there and I'm going to do some meleeing. Oh, he's coming at me with attacks. Okay, now he's not doing anything. Oh, that hurt me. Is this a strategy? Is this going to work? No mana again. Let me get that out of the system. Okay. Okay. I think... Yeah, just, just getting in. And then avoiding that. 
Oh, I was too close to that. Oh, but he is taking damage there. As long as he doesn't heal on me. That's the one. Oh, meow, no, how can this be? Oh, he's still alive. My health is low, my mana is low. This ain't great. Is there going to be more fighting? Ah, take this. Um, is this going to be tougher than it looks? It took me centuries to find another dragon blood like me. If there's going to be any more big fights, I'm going to struggle. Your entire quest to find your sister, it was my design. Dracoth, I'm begging you to stop. Dracoth seems to be weakened. If this is all he can send. No, Spiri, I am a powerful dragon blood too. Whoever of us falls, the zero dimension will open regardless. And Aelius will finally be free. Do I have the option not to fight Dracoth? Apparently not. Urgh. Oh, he just keeps on coming back. He's like the Black Knight, isn't he? Ha, ha, ha. Aelius, my friend, you'll soon be free. Dracoth, no! The Zero Dimension is opening. Run! Running. Oh, that way apparently is where we need to go to escape the Zero Dimension. Let's roll for extra speed. No, a barrier? Aelius. Let's go through the door. Oh, is the entire world crumbling? I can't believe we made it. Whatever was sealed in the Zero Dimension, it's free now. I don't expect you to forgive me, but will you? Maybe that's a yes. Th that's the kindest thing any cat's ever said to me. All right, Portner, it's you and me now. Let's go on our next cat quest. Hey, that's the name of the game. All right, I'm seeing a quest marker, so maybe the main story isn't totally over? Wait, fake out. <laughs> How can this be, Dracoth? Fret not, I am merely a clone Dracoth left behind. Should he not survive, Dracoth wished you both to know the truth. Goodbye, and thank you. Let's go into this thing, whatever it is. Epilogue, main quest. This is Dracoth's lair. I've been here once. Steal his money. Can't sleep in his bed. These are all books on the Zero Dimension, Meow. And some of Dracoth's notes. I shall never be forgiven for what I'm about to do, but I'll do anything to free Aelius, even becoming a villain. This was when Dracoth learned about you. I owed him a life debt, so he forced me to work with him. I'm truly sorry, Portner. This must be where Dracoth catnapped. Huh? There's a picture on his bedside. I will be with you always, Aelius. Ooh, and Dracoth. Once a cat forges a friendship, it's never forgotten. Huh. I hope he can rest in peace now. But the Zero Dimension was a prison for the vilest of creatures. I can only hope nothing evil got out. I'm sure it didn't. Alright, we can head back out of this room. Goodbye, Dracoth. Dracoth may be gone, but there are still cats who need help. Side quests. Let's go on our next cat venture. And I think, yeah, Mew game unlocked. Thank you. And an achievement has just popped up in the corner of my screen. It won't have been captured, but uh, oh, it's disappeared by now. I was going to tell you what it was, but I spent so long preambling I missed the opportunity. You can now select Mew game from the title screen. Maybe I don't want to. Maybe I want to continue doing some side quests around here. Oh, yeah. Level 63. So I think we had a, a level 65 over in Queen Resort. So I guess we're going to go and have a little crack at that. Anyway, this is where I'm going to end this episode, having successfully completed the main story for Cat Quest. And I hope you will join me for the next episode where we will be off picking up side content and such like. See you then. Bye bye.